you're going to be on a no work list, no own a gun list, no fly list. The no fly list is a master list under Patriot Act compliance. They have a criminal list of over four million names, a million one hundred thousand on the no fly list, the terror list. No judge, no jury, no indictment. Congressmen are on it. Movie stars are on it. On purpose, they won't take you off. They just say, we don't care. If you don't like it, SWAT team will drive by. And, uh, I mean, literally. And, you know, it's force. We're going to do this. We're criminal. There's no due process. Ha ha. We wear black uniforms. We're foreign bankers. We got a bunch of roid heads out of the military. They'll do whatever they're told. They've been kicking down doors in Fallujah. They're here now. You can all day worship the military and love them all day. And I know a lot of people are good in the military and are upset about what's happening. And Ron Paul got most of the donations from the military. And I know that. But they found, sifting through the military people, the scum. Like they're panning for gold. They're panning for New World Order trash. And they got all this, all the sand to them, all the good veterans and military or, you know, the good cops. That's, that's junk. They're going, oh, look at that little psycho. Look at that little thug. You know, they're panning in there. Got all that sand going back and forth. Who's just looking at me? You know what? How you pan for gold, who's? You know, that's a good analogy. All right, let's go to the. Oh, you want the gold? You want to know where the gold at? Um, let's uh, do an image search of Jack Boot. Let's look at who they're looking. J- 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 just Google Jack Booted thugs. Of course, Google's shutting everything down. You know, I told everybody they were going to shut down Google Video. They announced it yesterday, and they're now phasing out the user videos on YouTube, putting them on sub pages. And relegating them and banning patriots, not just my videos, hundreds of sites. Nate Evans, I'm going to tell you about it later. Well, I'm gonna, I'll never get the calls if I don't shut up. Nate Evans had given us a director's account. We went and we, uh, we hadn't used it since he gave it to us a few months ago. We go there and it's gone. And he said, yeah, I was uploading your videos. They didn't even give me a copyright infringement. They just, they just said, we delete your account. We're not going to have a director's account belonging to Alex Jones. So we have them red handed from Nate Evans that did graphics on Truth Rising. And on um, the Obama deception that I've known for four years, uh, his family came to the first rising premiere here in town. He's from Texas, but he lives in New York and L.A., works on big national TV shows. And uh, he donated some of those great 3D graphics you see of uh, Obama and others in the Obama deception. And he, he told me, like, we, we should set up Nate Evans and do a show in the next few days with Nate Evans and change the channel and... Uh, uh, Enough with specs, some of these cool directors on there. But but the point is, they the, the, it, just YouTube is out to get us. And you know why? We are hurting the New World Order, folks. I mean, I get on air and I say, they've stolen trillions. They say they're above the law. Here's a congressional testimony with them saying the military kidnaps children for dying core slave rings. It, you know, now there's a jackbooted thug. So, I don't know. Let's just go to your calls. I'm going to shut up now. Wilson in New York, you're on the air. Wilson, go ahead. Okay, Wilson's gone. I don't blame him for hanging up. Mike in Wyoming. Mike, you're on the air. Yeah, hi, Alex. Hello, sir. Uh, yesterday, uh, somebody was calling in asking about the Council for National Policy, and uh, uh, I thought it's worth pointing out that uh, Dr. Stan Monteith uh, at least was a member I don't know if he still is or not, but uh, back in the 90s, he was listed as in their membership roles uh, for whatever that's worth. Uh, uh, the main reason I called, I, uh, several weeks ago, I, I emailed uh, Aaron and uh, Rob D. Uh, uh, about uh, Dr. Gordon Prather, uh, who had, uh, I'd heard him as a guest on uh, Goyette's show down in Phoenix uh, a couple years ago. He's, he's an excellent guest. He's, uh, I think he used to work at Los Alamos. Uh, he's a nuclear physicist. Uh, somehow he was involved with the uh, uh, inspection, the uh, weapons inspection uh, regime in uh, Iraq. Before that, all fell What's apart. What's his name but again? We'll write it down. My pen Gordon, has walked off. Gordon Prather. I've uh, heard of him. P R A E T H E R, and uh, he'd be a good guy to uh, to just find out what is the capability of our government in terms of detecting nuclear devices in case one. One just uh, uh, some terrorist device goes off in a in a big city. Uh, could it have reasonably been expected to have been detected beforehand? Uh, he would know that kind of thing, and I'd I'd kind of like to have him weigh in on that issue. Absolutely, we'll check into that. What do you think about bills introduced that actually say if you hurt someone's feelings, federal uh, felony charge? Uh, under terrorism clauses, what do you think about uh, open bills saying if the attorney general 
thinks you might be a danger, we're going to put you on a no-gun list. That's what I keep saying, because I, I remember seeing Homeland Security Ridge when he was the head of it say that this to work, to live, to own guns, to travel. Uh, they're going to have federal checkpoints on the state highways. I remember seeing Bill Clinton's plans. They've been planning this a long time. It's just now what's happened. They, they were clearly, clearly planning it several years ago when they started writing these uh, uh, or uh, enacting these laws that says if you threaten a congressman, uh, you know, you're... Uh, you're guilty of terrorism. I mean, they knew they knew what was coming up, and they were they were uh, paving the ground for uh, for their antics. That's right, and they're saying aggressive speech is what that is. Like, you better stop it, or we're going to throw you bums out, and the police show up. Remember the news articles? If you search engine, uh, the term uh, "man visited by Homeland Security for buying ammo," and they usually bury it. I've seen a bunch of mainstream articles in New York, and Texas, and Illinois, and California. In Oregon or some of the places, uh, in Missouri of all places, you'll see the articles. And it's never in the headline because uh, uh, because I'm going to put this in a film. I've been uh, looking these up. It's always in the bottom of the article like it's no big deal. Oh, Bob such and such bought a 1,000 rounds of ammo and Homeland Security visited him and put him on a list. Uh, you know, uh, this guy bought uh, three guns and got a, a Homeland Security visit asking if he was a terrorist. They are advertising like you're a terrorist now if you go out and buy guns and ammo as a chilling effect. Well, if we give into this chilling effect, it's over, Mike. What what I've been doing is is calling uh, on these various issues. Uh, I, all my congressional delegation is Republican. We only have one representative here in Wyoming. Uh, she's a first termer. But I, uh, when I call them, I I don't allow them to say, "Well, she or he voted no on that." Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, since they've they've uh, marginalized themselves by eight years of uh, uh, apathy. Uh, they can vote no, and it doesn't matter because you've got a Democrat majority. So I say you, you need to be, or, or Congressman so and so needs to be pushing for uh, criminal charges uh, for a, uh, a Justice Department investigation of uh, Bernanke, of, of Greenspan, of Paulson, uh, you know, the whole gang. Exactly. Uh, the Republicans didn't, you know, uh, reinstate our liberties and our freedoms and all this when they were in power. They tried the opposite. Now that they're out of power, they can act like. They're patriots and fighting all of this. And the litmus test is arrest the bankers. And if enough of us start saying that, they can't get us all, come after us all for doing it. Because believe me, it's dangerous. We're getting a lot of heat for doing this. And I'm doing it willingly. Uh, Mike, it's good hearing from you. I appreciate your call. All right, George, Steve, um, Josh, and others, I'm going to get to you in a moment. I have looked more into this uh, Council for National Policy because I keep getting emails and calls about it. And people saying, I've heard your part of it, or I've heard Ron Paul's part of it, or I've heard this guy's part of it, that guy's part of it. So I, I knew I'd heard of it before in association with uh, Blackwater uh, from uh, some professors and people we'd had on. And so I went and looked it up. It's kind of like a junior CFR. You know, they have lots of these things that have, um, you know, Robert's Rules or wherever where you don't talk about what goes on in the meeting. And I went and looked at it, and it's something from the 80s where – uh, you know, they went out and co-opted the preachers and went out and co-opted uh, talk show host and went out and co-opted, uh, you know, Oliver North was involved and, and, and all of these people. And then when I look at the list of people that were involved in this, I, I know most of them have even come out and, you know, I mean, this was the 80s. It's easy in 2009 to go, look at this group. Uh, you know, they were being funded by the Hunt brothers and, 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 you know, they wanted to bring back, you know, right wing Bill of Rights Constitution and, and Hillary's given speeches about it, I discovered. That was what her whole, uh, vast right wing conspiracy was about. And of course there's a vast right wing conspiracy. That's the phony right wing co-opting, uh, you know, conservatives in this country and also trying to get power in the political process. That's how all these groups work. But, and we always explain, we don't get too upset, uh, and, 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 and ups, obsessed about the, even the Council on Foreign Relations running everything. We explain that's a pyramidal structure where most of them don't even know what the bigger picture is, and they've been co-opt into this good old boy club. Trilateral commission's a lot smaller. It's pretty much all insiders. Bilderberg, total insiders. Um, but there's all these other groups. But, I mean, the, 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 the endless obsession with, you know, oh, was somebody... Part of a right-wing group 25, 30 years ago. Meanwhile, all hell's coming down on us. The bankers are taking over right now, and they're trying to get us to fight off of left, you know, right.